You're watching Mountain Top's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your local network. Now, from the area's leader in live local news, this is WYLN News, the area's number one source of live local news and information in Luzerne, Schuylkill, Carbon, and Columbia counties. WYLN News starts now. Good evening, and thank you for joining us on WYLN News. I'm Paula Dagnan. Hazelton City Council took its first step toward raising property taxes to pay its debts in 2019. WILN's Julia Wiegand has the details. Divided City Council voted 3-2 when approving first readings of both a budget appropriations ordinance and a separate proposal that would increase the City of Hazelton's property tax rate from 5.85 mills this year to 5.96 mills or by 1.9% in 2019. Council voted to borrow just over a million dollars last month through the city's redevelopment authority to cover a structural deficit in the pension fund and debts that have been carried over from prior years. Council Vice President Allison Barletta was alongside Councilwoman Jean Mope in voting against the budget. She said Council has given very little information on the budget and doesn't know how an accurate one can be passed this way, especially just a year after property taxes were raised nearly 30 percent. Because I do believe that the process is broken and due to the lack of communication and accountability from the administration. And you know, our department heads and our workers, I was not voting against them, you know, they do such a great job with our city. Um, they have very little resources and they're very dedicated and they do an amazing job with our city you know and I want to thank them and just to let everybody know I just voted against the budget as a whole. Barletta would like to see council working with administration more in the future to be able to pass an accurate sustainable budget for Hazleton residents. Council is not responsible to the day-to-day -day business that is the administration you know and that's we're not trying to take that power out we're letting the administration do that but when we're given very little information it's very hard to pass an accurate budget without knowing what's going on to the day-to-day. -to -day. Councilman Tony Colombo alongside President Bob Gavio and Councilman Jim Perry said the property and wage tax increases included in the spending plan are essential to generating revenue. And we have the, the taxpayers at heart. I mean, personally, myself, I mean, I have a love for Hazleton and I have no objective. And, you know, I'm doing it's, sometimes the right decision, the tough decision is hard to make, you know, and like I said, we don't want to raise taxes. I personally don't want to do it, but, you know, we need to move the city forward. And what this is going to do is help us with the Pell, with Act 47, that we're going to be able to start na nickel and diamond and bringing it down a little at a time, that by the time we get to the other side of the cart, we're going to be even and we're going to be ahead of the game. He asked why vote no on something that would allow the city to continue operating while rectifying something that needs to be done that hasn't been. I mean, this is the time of year that the budget's ours. You know, the city council has a chance to put a budget in, into effect for the city. We're legally obligated to cover that debt so that 1.9% that we did, that's the bare minimum. So we took it and cut it substantially, and it's minimally like $8.24 a, a home for a year. I mean, that's, that's, that's like a pack of cigarettes or a lottery ticket. I mean, we're trying to move the city forward as, uh, in the best we can. The increase would generate about $100,000 in revenue for the city, which will be applied directly to debt. The tax rate would increase by 0.11 mills, with the reduction achieved by increasing a handful of revenue line items by a combined $100,000. The smaller increase would cost the owner of a $75,000 home another $8.24 per year. The resident EIT rate would also increase from 1.35% to 1.75%, while the non-residential rate would remain at 1.85 mills through 2019. Pell Consultant said the increase in the resident EIT would cost a person who earns $30,000 an additional $120 per year. A person with a $50,000 salary would pay another $200 per year. The wage tax increase would generate an additional $1.5 million in revenue for the city, with most of the money paying pensions. The ordinance's final readings are scheduled for December 12th. Reporting in Hazleton for WYLAN News, I'm Julia Wiegand. Governor Tom Wolf's administration announced today that 26 airports across the state will receive funding for improvements. The airports will make infrastructure and equipment upgrades to maintain safety and expand aviation-related operational and economic opportunities. The funding comes from over $6 million in state investments. $2.2 million in state funding will be from PennDOT's Aviation Development Program. That comes from Pennsylvania's Jet Fuel 
tax and $4 million comes from the Multimodal Fund. Airports on the list in our area include the Jake Arner Memorial Airport in Carbon County, the Hazleton Regional Airport, and the Joe Zerbe Airport in Schuylkill County. A New Jersey woman was killed on Wednesday in a crash in Columbia County. 92-year-old Regina Kenestrassi was a passenger in a vehicle that veered off Snyder School Road in Mifflin Township. The car collided with a tree. She was taken to the hospital where she was pronounced dead. The driver of the vehicle also taken for treatment. There's no word at this time on that person's condition. A Hazleton man has been charged with attempted homicide. It has to do with the shooting in the city back in August. Roberto Alvarez Marquez had a preliminary hearing yesterday on that incident. Police withdrew the original charges and then refiled them, including a charge of attempted homicide. According to police, Alvarez Marquez shot his girlfriend in the chest. She is recovering. According to the Luzerne County Coroner's Office, there has been no decline in fatal drug overdoses this year. In 2017, there were 151 reported drug death cases in the county. As of yesterday, County Coroner Bill Lisman said there had been 141 overdose deaths in 2018, with rulings on 10 suspected deaths awaiting final lab results. The synthetic open opioid fentanyl was used in almost all of the overdose cases in Luzerne County. As we had reported earlier in the week, the state is stepping up its game when it comes to trying to combat the opioid problem. Pennsylvania is now expanding efforts to make the anti-overdose medication naloxone available to the public. There's a statewide distribution day set for Thursday, December 13th from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. You can see a list of the places where the naloxone will be available on your screen. The drug is also regularly available at most pharmacies in the state at little or no cost for those with insurance. The drug can reverse overdoses by blocking opioids effect on the brain and the respiratory system. Parents, you need to take note of a voluntary baby medicine recall. Tris Pharma, based out of New Jersey, has issued a voluntary recall of infants' ibuprofen concentrated oral suspension. The pharmaceutical company says that the medicine may be more concentrated than advertised. Though no illnesses have been reported, the company states that there is a remote possibility that infants who are more susceptible to medication with a higher potency of ibuprofen could suffer permanent renal injury. Adverse effects may include vomiting, nausea, and diarrhea. Products included in the recall were sold at Walmart, CVS, and Dollar General. Consumers who may have questions should contact Tris Customer Service weekdays from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Coming up on WYLN News, voting machine controversy in the state. And before we go to break, a check on the forecast. Overnight, some flurries around with a low of about uh, 24. Then it's going to get colder, 17 tomorrow night's low, but dry right into next week. Stay with us. Your safety matters to us, and now we've been recognized for it. Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton earned an A in patient safety from LeapFrog Group. This means we're among the best in the nation for patient safety. We provide the expert care you need close to home. We're going to have a December to remember with prices on Jeeps and Rams that will never, ever be beat. How about a 2019 Dodge Ram 1500 4x4 double cab? You pay $35,988. Or how about an 18 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4? You pay $25,988. How about a 2018 Renegade Latitude 4x4? You pay $22,650. A 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited 4x4? You pay $28,988. No payments till 2019. Check us out on the web at blazehazelton.com. Remember, taking the deals the other guys won't. 
In preparation for the Christmas season, Antonia's Jewelry and Repair is filled with special collections for this season of joy. We offer a variety of watches, including Bulova. Find diamond jewelry in yellow, white, and rose gold. Engagement rings that can be custom designed so it is one of a kind. Diamond anniversary bands, rings, pennants, earrings, and more. Full service jewelry and watch repairs. Stop in to see Tony, formerly from Howard's Jewelers. Let her help you pick the perfect gift. Antonia's Jewelry and Repair, 289 Airport Road in Hazel Township. Attention, WYLN viewers. WYLN TV can now be seen on the Hazelton Service Electric Cablevision HD tier, channel 507, and over the air at 35.1. WYLN, we're your local network. Luzerne County's election director is at the center of a firestorm of controversy over a non-paid position that she held last year. Marisa Crispel said at a meeting with council members she believes she did nothing wrong when she served on the advisory board of election systems and software, the county's vendor. Crispel said the position was an unpaid one. She served with a group of other professionals to give feedback to the company. She says she had cleared it with her boss, the County Director of Administrative Services, and the Election Board Solicitor. But some council members say they feel different about that, saying she should have told them before the county bought software off them for over $300,000. County Manager David Pedry says the county will conduct an internal review. One Republican state senator is drafting legislation to prevent Governor Tom Wolf from forcing Pennsylvania's counties into buying new voting machines for the 2020 presidential election. Wolf, a Democrat, says new machines are a safeguard against hacking. But Senate Republican Whip John Gordner of Columbia County wants to require legislative approval to replace machines and questions whether it's reasonable or necessary to decertify every voting machine across the Commonwealth. A caregiver has pleaded guilty to neglect charges after Pennsylvania gubernatorial candidate Scott Wagner's mother was injured while under her care. The York Dispatch reports 63-year-old Mary Torbert was sentenced to two years probation after entering her plea Wednesday. Court documents show Torbert left Ann Wagner alone despite her requirement to provide 24-hour supervision, and Wagner fell and suffered broken bones as well as a head injury. After issues with a lease, Planned Parenthood has found a new location in downtown Wilkes-Barre. The Kirby Health Center board decided not to renew the lease at 63 North Franklin Street because of Planned Parenthood wanting to provide legal abortions. The organization has been searching for another location to provide reproductive health care services. It will open a health center at 101 North Main Street at the beginning of 2019. The new landlord said that surgical abortion will not be performed at this site, though patients will have access to the basic reproductive health care services that they depend on. Planned Parenthood's lease is for five years with renewal options on the 2,000 square foot facility in downtown Wilkes-Barre. Coming up on Ringtown's News Choice, sounds of the season in community and you and celebrating safely this holiday season. As we head out to break, let's take a look at the midday winning lottery numbers. Good luck if you played. Stay with us. until Black Friday to get the best deals on a new car at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Our deals start now. During the Black Friday sales event, lease a new Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4 for just $229 a month or buy a new 2019 Jeep Cherokee Latitude 4x4 starting at dealer invoice plus $4,500 off and get 0% financing on select models. You don't need to wait until Black Friday for the best deals at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. All Care Home Care, providing quality in home care since 1986. 
Call and see how their team of licensed physical therapists, skilled nurses, speech, and occupational therapists can provide you with exceptional service in the comfort of your own home. They also offer dietitian, home health aid, and medical social worker services. You have a choice in your health care. For safe, friendly, qualified care, call All Care Home Care today and let their team begin taking care of you and your loved ones. Physical Therapy and Balance Centers. It's spelled different because we are different. Physical is unlike any therapy center you've been to before. If you're tired of living in pain, if you want to move better, overcome an injury or balance disorder, or you just want to improve your strength and conditioning, our highly skilled team of medical experts will help you get back to living the life you enjoy. New mentality, new body, new life. Get physical. Welcome to Community and You here on WYLN, everyone. I'm Gary Perna. Very pleased to have with me good friend of mine, Bob Lagana, from the Hazelton Philharmonic. And Bob, I can't believe we are here talking about, and we are now in the Christmas season, the 15th annual Sounds of the Season. And you and I were talking before this taping in, in just unbelievable 15 years of uh, presenting this beautiful work of art to the greater Hazelton and surrounding communities right at Christmas time. So this year, December 15th, 2018, the Alice e. Wiltsey Performing Arts Center, the 15th year's door o doors open at six, shows at seven, ticket price is $10. Um, this is a great event, this is a great thing to get everybody out to go and get into that Christmas spirit. And there are some things this year, Bob, that uh, are gonna be happening that maybe we've not seen for a couple of years that have, are making a, a grand reappearance. Right, uh, Carrie. What what I was hoping to try to do this year was to try to reach into the last 15 years and pull out some of the more notable things that we've done, some people that we've had with us before and haven't been with us recently, and try to reprise some of these things and, and to try to make it an anniversary mm -hmm. type of an event. And over the years, we've done quite a few things. So, uh, for example, uh, we have one of the things that we're going to do, which went over really well, is a, uh, a narrated version of the uh, Night it's Before Christmas cool. being done by Father Anthony Jenner. So what a little twist. It's going to have some musical punctuation from the Philharmonic Orchestra, which was a fun thing to do. Uh, also, uh, people might remember this from several years back, uh, Sarah Reimer. She was, at the time she first appeared with us, she was uh, Sarah Gardner. But her name is now Sarah Reimer, and she's a world-class soprano. Mm -hmm. uh, if you heard her back then, you will remember her uh, that it was a fantastic uh, fantastic voice and she's going to do a couple of pieces with us a couple of Italian arias Puccini arias with us this year also well, one of the things that we've uh, had a good time with in the past years is the appearance of our our big band mm -hmm. segment okay and that's a that's the type of uh, uh, type of music all in and of itself so I've put that in the uh, second half uh, over the last couple of years we were fortunate to uh, to have uh, on our stage with us Fabergé mm -hmm. Follies and uh, if you've seen any of the last two shows you'll remember that it's a real class act and this year we have some some dancing uh, in, in the first and the second half so that should be fun also, we're going to have uh, a couple of years ago for the first time, uh, area baritone uh, Jack James started singing with us when we did our our patriotic show back in 2016, and uh, he's been working with us ever since. So he's got a he's got his nice little section of the show in the second half up here with the big band, and he's going to sing uh, a song that was uh, originally recorded by Elvis Presley called uh, "If Every Day Was Like Christmas," and I I arranged it for the orchestra. So it's going to be a fun fun show. Uh, you know, I, I, there's going to be something for everything. And this is one of those events, every year we talk about, but this is truly one of those events that if you leave there not in Christmas spirit, well, we don't know. Then. Because this is something that truly everybody, I think, in the greater Hazelton area looks forward to, to go out one night, you're hearing all the music, you're seeing the great dancers, uh, you're, you're, you're part of the show, really, when you're sitting in that audience. We, we try our best, uh, and I, I think one of the things to keep in mind is the fact, and we, we had this 
kind of in mind uh, 15 years ago when Barry Jayus of WYLN mm -hmm. and Dan DeMelfi and myself sat down for the first time. We wanted this to be a noteworthy mm -hmm. event, and we, but we wanted to feature Hazelton talent. Right. And I think if you come to the show or if you've been at shows in the past, you are never cease to be amazed at how many talented people mm -hmm. and individuals and groups we have within the Hazelton area. It's just, it's just a great time for everyone. It is. It's a wonderful event. Uh, Again, we've been so very pleased for the last 15 years at WYL to be part of it, thanks to Barry. Uh, Danny DeMalfi has been bringing us a lot of great talent. Of course, the orchestra and, and everything you guys have done. And, and this is truly one of the premier events to go to every year. Uh, in Hazleton. So again, it's December 15th at the Alice e. Wilson Performing Arts Center at the, the Old Castle. Doors open at 6, shows at 7. Tickets are available at the door for $10 or by calling the uh, Orchestra Philharmonic Office at 455-2188 uh, or by seeing any one of their members, you can get tickets off of them. And I know you've you've got tickets to give around, oh, yes. so <laughs> we, are, we are waiting to fill up that auditorium on the 15th. Bob, did we leave anything out? No. Uh, if you have nothing else better to do on Saturday evening, do you come and have a great time with us. It's a great event and come out and support the, the, the Great Philharmonic and all the work you guys do throughout the year. And again, this is just one of those events you have to see, you have to listen to, and you have to be a part of. All right. Thank you so much for joining us here on Community and You, everyone. We'll see you next time here on WYLA. Northeast Pennsylvania. Scenic beauty, close-knit communities. We're neighbors helping neighbors. Lehigh Valley Health Network is bringing you leading-edge cancer treatment that's close to home, robotic surgery for quicker recoveries, world-class heart care and access to top specialists, all from Lehigh Valley Hospital Hazleton and our 15 community locations. Neighbors caring for greater Hazleton and beyond. Lehigh Valley Health Network. You don't need to wait until Black Friday to get the best deals on a new car. At All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram, our deals start now. During the Black Friday sales event, lease a new Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4 for just $229 a month. Or buy a new 2019 Jeep Cherokee Latitude 4x4, starting at dealer invoice plus $4,500 off. And get 0% financing on select models. You don't need to wait until Black Friday for the best deals at All-American Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. Tickets are now on sale for the annual Sounds of the Season concert at the Alice C. Wiltsey Performing Arts Center in Hazleton. Ring in the holidays with performances by the Hazleton Philharmonic Orchestra under the direction of Robert Lagana, Fabergé Follies, Hazleton Philharmonic Big Band Sound. Tickets are $10 for adults and $5 for children. Sounds of the Season is brought to you by these businesses. The city of Wilkes-Barre has announced that it will extend yard waste pickup for another week. The extended collection begins on Monday and runs through Friday in the neighborhoods that are now listed on your screen. Yard waste will follow the regular pickup schedule for each neighborhood. The Pennsylvania Liquor Control Board has more reminders for you this holiday season, especially when it comes to having a holiday party. The board wants everyone to have a great holiday season, but at the same time, they want everyone to remember the rules when it comes to hosting a party where liquor will be served. We're encouraging people to make sure as host of parties that they, they monitor their guests, uh, they have designated drivers available, they particularly are conscious that they cannot serve alcohol to minors or they'll face criminal liabilities and criminal penalties. So it's a time that we want Pennsylvanians to enjoy the holiday season with friends and family and co-workers, but to do it in a responsible manner. Holden says the board has come up with some reminders for everyone this holiday season. We have a flyer that we're going to be putting in our, all of our customers' bags over the next few weeks that have several hints, uh, well not hints, uh, suggestions of what you can do uh, to host a responsible party, including all the things I just talked about, with an emphasis on know when and know how when it comes to alcohol consumption by minors and make sure that you are not engaged in that activity. The holiday season is a wonderful time for parents uh, to talk to their, their children uh, about 
being responsible and making sure they don't consume alcohol. As a matter of fact, we have invested millions of dollars in no when, no how program all across the Commonwealth, and we were shocked when we identified uh, the number of children, kids, that start consuming alcohol anywhere from the ages of seven uh, to 13. For more information, you can head over to the PLCB website. The MPB community players will be traveling to local churches to present their seventh annual holiday pageant. Our Christmas Gift will feature an ensemble of artists performing music of the season. The first stop on the tour, St. John Bosco on Saturday, December 8th, 7 p.m. Two shows will take place the following day. The first at St. Joe's on Laurel Street at 2 p.m., then at Most Precious Blood at 7 p.m. The players will perform the pageant on Sunday, December 16th at Annunciation Parish beginning at 2 p.m. The production is free, but goodwill donations will be collected and the proceeds will benefit the venues. If you'd like more information, you can call 570-459-5076. That's the news. Remember, you can always get news updates on our WYLN News Facebook page. Now stay with us. A look at today's weather is next on WYLN TV. Hi, I had a very minor uh, fender bender tonight in an unreasonably narrow fast food drive through lane. Don't worry, I have everything handled. I already spoke to our Allstate agent, and I know that we have accident forgiveness, which is so smart on your guys' part. Like, the fact that they'll Four just... weeks without the car. Okay, yep, good night. With accident forgiveness, your rates won't go up just because of an accident. Switching to Allstate is worth it. Visit your local Allstate agent, the McNeilis Agency in Hazleton at 1092 North Church Street, or in Hometown in the Hometown Village Square. Join us this season for holiday programming featuring The Chef Lou Christmas, Holiday Traditions, Holiday Baking with Jenya Mola, Holiday Cooking with Kathy Kutchie, Polka Connection, Can Do Christmas, Sounds of the Season, From Saint to Claus, Hometown Holiday, Your Life Christmas Special, First Noel, Holiday Cooking with Helen and Kevin McDonald, Holiday Cooking with Granny Rita. Check out our website at WYLNTV.com for dates and times. We're going to have a December to remember with prices on Jeeps and Rams that will never, ever be beat. How about a 2019 Dodge Ram 1500 4x4 double cab? You pay $35,988. Or how about an 18 Jeep Compass Latitude 4x4? You pay $25,988. How about a 2018 Renegade Latitude 4x4? You pay $22,650. A 2019 Jeep Cherokee Limited 4x4? You pay $28,988. No payments till 2019. Check us out on the web at blazehazelton.com. Remember, taking the deals, the other guys won't.
You're watching Wilkesbury's Choice for news, weather, and live local sports. WYLN, we're your...